vlog. I'm crossing my fingers that I can like continue this throughout the week. So the plan is to like do it Monday to Friday. I not believe how many like attempts I had to film this video. But when you're seeing this, I succeeded. So I guess I'm just sharing like my TBR for this week with you guys. It's a little ambitious and I can 100% tell you that I will not read all of these books. Okay, I, I will not. <laughs> so I think let's just start with my physical book. So my first book I want to read this week, it's a little ambitious when I say it like that. Like the first book I want to start reading this week is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. I read so many good reviews on this book and I'm just very excited to actually get into it. I don't really know the story to be honest, but I like to get surprises when I'm making books, so I don't really like to know a lot. But what I heard was very good. Hopefully I can at least, you know, start, which this is a good goal. Like starting this book is a good goal to reach. Also I love like the floppiness of this book. It's just so beautiful. And it's also very aesthetically pleasing. I buy most of my books um, you use but like good use so you know it's a little bit dented here but you know i don't think actually the spine broke maybe a little bit but i don't actually care it was a little bit cheaper use and it's better for the environment anyways so Let's continue with my audiobook. I always like to have an audiobook on hand just if I'm in the car or if I'm like cleaning, doing random stuff. I am really into me, like I'm always really into music, but sometimes I have more like a music face and other times I have like more an audiobook face. And, and right now I'm heavily in a music face. So I don't know if I can make a lot of progress in this audiobook. So for audiobooks, I recommend searching on Spotify or YouTube if you're not able to use like Audible and stuff. My family and I, we have an Audible account, but my parents are using it right now. So I don't really want to interrupt them. So I searched on YouTube for an audiobook. I came across the book, The Strange Next Door from Rebecca Tyler, I think it's called. Honest, I did not really read the synopsis of this. I just know that there's like a murder and it's like in this neighborhood, which is like perfect. Um, this is all I know, so I think it's a thriller, like a crime maybe. I'm usually really quick with audiobooks because I spend a lot of time like in the car, tidying up my room, like tidying up the house. I spend a lot of time in bed and I'm also like going to the gym. So I don't know if I'm like a audiobook gym type of girl you know i don't know if i can like listen to a story while like i'm heavily lifting weights and stuff <laughs> i cannot lift heavy weights i did not mean to say that <laughs> the next book i would really like to read is normal people by sally rooney i know this book is maybe a little bit overhyped i guess i think everyone read this book by now like in the book community like everyone read it and I don't want to be excluded from the book community, so I bought it. Actually, my mom bought it for me. So thank you, mom. Really love you. But yeah, I'm really excited to join into this. I think, or I expect, that this is a more like heavier book with like a little more deeper topics. So we have to see if I'm in the mood for this this week. Okay, and last but not least, because you know, three books are not enough for one week. Um, I wanted to quickly look at my e-reader. I want to give Scorn of Secrets a try. Red, it's like a very light, fun book, I think. Yes, like a dark secret, but it's also like, I think yeah, it will be a fun romance and I'm kind of in the mood for a fun romance. I'm also trying out this new website where I can like read books and write reviews to it. But this is like the book I chose. I have, I think, two weeks to read it and then I have to write my review in one week I think and then I have to submit it um, which is new for me but I really love to write and I hope this book is good I could only choose between like 10 books I think kind of pick the book which I was interested in the most so these are the plans for the week hopefully I at least can finish one book or maybe this is this is still too ambitious I don't want to pressure myself so 
I want to make some progress. At least I want to read, okay? Reading should be fun and reading... I was distracted for a second, there's my window. Reading should be fun and reading should be not forced. There should be no pressure in reading, so yeah.
vlog please bear with me i don't know what i'm doing um just sitting in front of a camera and talk to myself about books which i love so i made quite some progress in girls of paper and fire i'm absolutely loving this book it's quite confusing in the beginning i have to say like only thing i would say is that i'm only on page 32 but there are so many information already about the character, about the story, about the world. There's like so, so much. So I think I actually have to start writing notes because it's a little bit confusing and the story is very like fast ongoing. So I really have to make sure that I read careful and catch up on all the information because everything is important.
Okay, I wanted to quickly like talk about my thoughts about my ebook. I'm about 50 pages now and the plot is not very developing. So we had now this whole backstory. I will not spoil or anything. I would be very disappointed if this backstory will not pick up again later in this book because there is so much information. There is so much happening in this 50 pages of like kind of backstory terms and I read the synopsis before I like I briefly read the synopsis before I download the book. I don't know if I'm being weird right now but nothing in this whole synopsis really gave a clue like what would happen in this 50 first pages. Now that I said that there would be like a fun romance kind of thing and I think this will be definitely happen because yeah it, everything is like going in this direction but this whole backstory like this this what I just read is so huge and there were so many informations it's like so detailed there are like so many things I also think that this is a very light book like the topic which was discussed um, the first 50 pages was definitely not light but it was a very light writing style um, and I kind of think everything just fall in place perfectly, even though that what happened was very terrible. But in the situation, um, the book is progressing, like it was kind of perfect. I think the author just really like make this whole backstory very, very detailed and every detail really added up to the situation which is coming now. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I really like the writing style and I love books, like especially romances, where I just don't need to use my brain. Like I can almost predict what will happen to the main characters. Um, I just like that. This is like the type of book I really, really like. And I think this book can be this type of book. And in terms of story, we have our like typical main character. She's like not like other girls she's like shy and has a book club and likes to read and doesn't really like to socialize does not tell her crush that she likes him and stuff like that like she's definitely not like other girls and now you know her mom gets a new boyfriend and they have to move states so she will live in texas and they don't want that Obviously, she does not want to leave her friends and her family. It's a very typical story. And the new boyfriend of her mom happens to have two sons, which are surprisingly in the same age as her. So her stepbrothers, which she will be living with, are the same age as her. And this new boyfriend is kind of rich, they're having this huge house and she comes from a like not very wealthy family, they are always like having money problems. So now she's moving in with a like stranger with his two sons, they have lots a lot of money now, a big big house and yeah, she has to go to a new school. It's kind of like your typical story. Not gonna lie, it kind of gives me Wattpad feelings. Which is not bad. We love Wattpad. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and I'm really, really excited and really, really scared. I waited for this package for so, so long and it didn't came yesterday and now it will come today so i'm like 30 minutes to an hour i am so so scared because i bought this little lady um online from a like private seller and now we like discussed and he said that it would be best if you would ship it on Monday. So she will be here pretty soon because, you know, it is a living creature. So it is not that good that she is so long in the cold. But because of COVID, everything just was just not adding up. So she is on her way pretty long. And I hope everything is fine. 
I am really really scared to open the package I think I will update you later like I read yesterday and today a lot and I listened to the audiobook everything like that but um, my, my thoughts are just all over the place right now so I don't think it would be best to like talk to you about this now so I think I will update you later about the books but now I'm just so so excited and I'm just I hope that everything is fine really I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I should do when I open the box and they are not fine you know Sie bewegt sich. Oh mein Gott. Sie bewegt sich. Zwei. Are both alive. I am so excited. Oh my God. They are so small. I didn't expect them oh, to be this small. I cannot. I was not prepared for that. Um, I'm so nervous right now. Okay. Hello, my lady. Can you please go back in there? Oh my God, <gasps> she's looking. Oh, she's looking. Can you see this? Okay. Um, uh, see how she's looking. Dachte, <laughs> Wanted to quickly update you what happened yesterday. I 
kind of forgot to update you on the book yesterday, I think, on the books I read, um, which is kind of the point of this video, but I quickly wanted to mention that, like, you know, I guess, you know, that I um, got two mantis. I don't know what the plural of these insects are, but yeah, I was very excited, as you could probably tell, and I I pretty quickly noticed that one of them looks very small and very faded and yeah something was coming out of her back kind of. We cannot forget that these are insects and are pretty fragile so yeah she sadly died yesterday. The package should have arrived on Tuesday, it did not, it arrived on Thursday so the two ladies were in there for like four days with just food for two days and this species um, in general really is kind of aggressive towards their own art so I kind of think that they got into a fight and the smaller one already was injured. I kind of was very sad yesterday um, so I did not you know, update you but it's kind of nature. These are insects, very fragile you cannot compare them with like cats so but i'm really really happy about the mantis i got she is very very active she seems very well um she's getting bigger already like i don't know if i'm just imagining this but she looks pretty big um she's very green and active she eats everything's fine and i'm so so happy um about her so this is very good but now to the books i wanted to update you yesterday but because of the circumstances i could just not girls of paper and fire i kind of postponed it because you know i still have to write a review for this book i read on ebook i still can i cannot remember how it's called it is this book but yeah it is still very typical but I'm actually enjoying reading it. Like it is so cliche and everything is kind of falling into place perfectly. The two brothers are like super popular in school. They, I think one of them is in track team and one of them is in basketball team. So they are like very um, on the top of like the popularity scale I would say in school. So everyone has a kind of crush on them. They're super like I don't know, they're super hot and super sweet and everyone just kind of wants to be friends with them. All the girls love them, you know, the typical kind of guys in this type of books. The romance which is developing is, in my opinion, going a little bit too fast. So like the first day, the first second they saw each other, they were like, ooh. I searched for the specific um, part, like I should have wrote it down. But it was so, like, it described the book so, so much because the main character is just really, she's not like other girls. And she kept telling us she's not like other girls. She's like nerdy and likes to read, doesn't like to socialize. She's like really not like other girls. Let me quickly search it. So she has a sister and she's like not going along with her very well. Her sister is like this tall beautiful like, girl she is very popular she likes to socialize she likes to go to parties she's on her phone a lot stuff like that she's you know not like the main character i just wanted to quickly read you a part of the book which i think describes this very very well so tanya is a social butterfly with tons of friends tanya is the sister she's outgoing and the total opposite of me Sometimes I wish I could be more like her. My idea of fun is reading, watching TV or surfing on Goodreads. Does that make me a nerd? And I was like, girl. Girl. <laughs> you do you. I really like to do that stuff too. I'm not like, you know, telling everyone. But yeah, I think that describes the book very well. I'm on page. We had a storm already. Um, which, you know, the parents left and left the kids alone. It's just very typical, it's very cliche. But if you like that, like, sometimes I really like this kind of books. It's just fun to read, a very quick read. And I also made some progress in my audiobook, which is surprisingly developing very, very well. I am actually very intrigued in this. I still don't very know what this story will lead me to. It is very different from the other books I read um, so far in my life, I guess. 
also I'm I'm actually so so proud of myself like today's Friday I really really filmed every day of this week so far and I hope I cannot even remember what I was talking the last clip so um yeah I hope there's something useful and some footage I can actually use to kind of you know do this video if you're seeing this I succeeded and I'm very proud of it hi editing Lottie here I just wanted to quickly come here because I noticed I'm currently cutting the video and I noticed that I did not film an outro so that's what I'm here for as I said I'm just not experienced in like reading vlogs and videos in general but I hope you enjoyed the video my mantis is doing great she is sitting right next to me on a plant living her best life yeah I just wanted to quickly come here and say bye if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future content of mine and I wish you a beautiful beautiful day and I will see you in my next video bye